get your tap, that's fine. And then we're gonna move on in the same sequence until we work the whole way through. So it's gonna be like, uh, it's gonna be, you know, my attack, he's gonna counter, I'm gonna attack, he's gonna counter, and then finally I'm gonna attack again. So it's a whole little string, right? A lightning scenario of how this might play out. Right, so we'll be here, we're gonna play just like a, just like a spider guard like we talked about. You guys wanna get comfortable with the spider, you guys can mess around like once, twice, whatever, get used to moving those hips, moving the hips up, straightening the leg is gonna turn your body, right? And this is a good spider guard, you're not dead in front of him, you look down the center line, he's not there. That's the angle that you wanna maintain with the spider, right? So from here, um, I'm gonna take the foot off, I'm gonna plant the foot in between, and I lift up. And you see where we kind of are. We're going to be in, in, in like a single-legged X position right here. So now, well, to actually make the single-legged X, I'm going to throw the first hook up and around. Heel is on the hip. Toes are pointed out. Don't cross the hip line or get to the, to, to the center line. If this foot comes across, I'm going to get a reap here. In, in Nogi, and I think maybe in Naga, this is, I think this might be legal. Um, but in, in most IBJJF tournaments, this is illegal. This happens, you're going to get... Maybe a warning if you're lucky, you're probably gonna get DQ and the match is over. So make sure that you keep that foot, heel in, toes out, okay? So now from here, um, I'm gonna, we're gonna work on transferring grips. So I have a nice spider. This foot's not going anywhere. I don't have to hold this right now. I have this here and I have this here. So this foot's not coming out. I can't attack this foot yet because I still have both of his sleeve grips. So my, so my feet are safe and my little hybrid single-legged X spider here is safe for right now. Transfer grips, and then I'm gonna make this proper single-legged X. So now you notice I still have control of this arm, so he cannot strip these, this hook with, that, with this free arm if I were to let go. So I, I, I maintain this, I maintain this. Now I wanna start wrapping this leg with this free arm. There's no space right now because this, this is tight. So I keep my elbow over here on this foot, open my knee up slightly, circle that in. I can start to look for my uh, lapel right here, crunch up, do, do like little baby crunches until you choke up just enough. My, it's nice and low, my, my elbow is at 90 degrees, that's what I want. Now I'm going to go for my sweep. I have the leg and arm isolated on the same side. Bridge, look to the direction I want to take him, bridge the hips, he falls down. My foot has not moved. At this point I can let go of his hand, I don't need it anymore. I let go, I readjust my grip, and I choke up if I have to. Talking points from this position right here. I'm on my elbow, my finger's still fitting here, daylight still comes through, it's not tight enough. I want it, I want this like locked off. So I have to collapse, get off of my elbow, drop, get the elbow behind me, fall in the front right here. All that space is now gone. It's occupied by my hand and heel. Now from here, I'm gonna look in the direction that I want to over my shoulder to the floor, look behind me, and arch. It's very tight. Okay, so that's one, right? So I'm gonna do the knee bar on my, on my better side here. So we're just gonna assume that I, I fell to this side, right? I fell to this side, likely likely counter is he's gonna strip this foot, he's gonna start popping over the top. He pops over the top, this, this foot was here, right? He starts coming over, he forces that. This, this foot should be in between. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're, we're basically gonna switch our legs as we had them. So this leg, is gonna come under and up, just like this one is, and this one's gonna fold under and uh, like this one is. So we're here. So I switched my legs. Now, I'm gonna drive the shin over his hips, his belt line, over the top of the thigh, and I start rotating over the top, right here. Now you'll see that this, this leg is pretty much trapped. I keep it choked up high. I don't wanna be too low here, because then he can hide it and or cross his legs, the ankles, and now I have a problem. I want to keep this isolated just like this. You can hold it here. Now, when I spin for this, I want to spin around his leg, not affecting his body. I don't want to drag him on top of me. I want to keep this just tight enough that he can't take, get rid of it, but I don't want to be too tight that I turn him and his hips with me. So it's, it's sort of a finesse thing. So I come here, base, pop up. You see how he didn't move? I moved around him. And now we're right here. So if I can, I'm gonna look for the nice tight quick finish here. Pinch the knees, pinch the elbow, hips forward, I get my tap, just like an arm bar, make sure you're, you're choked up with the arm, the um, your armpit and the ankle, just as it would be in the wrist for an arm bar. If you can, the really nice finish is
is right here. Now this is, he's, he's stuck. This is very hard to get out of this because he cannot rotate his hips into me. His leg is stuck. He's, he's in trouble. I straighten the legs, keep that thing locked, to get a little X with my feet. He's probably done from right here, unless he has some super good legs. What will happen though, is sometimes I get stuck right here. I can't quite get this leg out, or he times it really well. He comes, he throws that right, his leg on the top, puts it, my butt starts turning to his knees. So he turns his knees, I sit up. I catch this, okay? Now I can't hang out here all day. Because if he starts making space, he's going to strip the leg out and he's going to go away. So I take, I say crunch. There's two ways you can finish this. You can dive around the same side leg, or you can come up around the hips, whichever one you can grab. So we're here, notice my shin is basically more or less centered behind his knee. I'm crunching forward so there's a bend, so it's hard for him to rip it out. I, I don't have to hold it because my, my, it's just like kind of like an omoplata. Like my, my ribs and my leg is keeping his, his leg here just like it would be his arm in an omoplata. So I come up, hug the leg, or hug the hips. Now slowly drive forward, right there. And then you get, then you get like a little knee slice, or calf slice, or ripping the call. So that's like a lightly attack, defend, attack, defend type scenario. So, so everything should be very familiar except for the finish. So we've done all of it except for that finish, right? So we'll be here. Make sure you're doing it right. You guys can plant the foot. I'll do it on the other side this time. Plant the foot. Look up. Kick like an imaginary ball. Use your hips to elevate. You can get that big step. Hips over hips. Keep the grips. My leg comes up. Single leg at X. Transfer grips, just like you did in that drill, so you cannot strip my hook. I, I adjust my position if I need to, so I'm, I'm in an optimal position. Make the proper single leg at X. Leg is trapped, open this up, dive under, baby crunches until you get your gi. Elbows 90 degrees, we're good to sweep. Look to the direction I want to go, bridge the hips, he falls. First finish, I choke up, collapse, I get my tap, he reads it, counter. Okay, very likely. Look to under, I get my one finish here, come quick, optimally, I do this, if I have space, or he starts to counter it, comes over the top, sit up on it right here, hug the hips. The, the finish for this is I just bring my hips and his heel to his butt. So it's like I come forward and I try to bring my heel in the opposite direction that my upper body is going. So I try to pull my heel and straighten my leg out that way as I hug and drive forward. It should be nice and tight. You guys good? Yes. Let's do it.